What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. Today we are going to compare three different altcoins or cryptocurrencies as we like to call them. Ethereum, IOTA, and Cardano. If you're new to this, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe if you like videos that go into reviews like this. And if you've been watching videos like this before from our channel, hit the bell. Let's kick this off, guys. So um, right now, IOTA and Cardano are all the buzz. Okay, so the first thing that I think about when I'm analyzing all of this is where is the potential for IOTA and Cardano? And the one that I can compare it to, honestly, is Ethereum. So if you've watched the meteoric ride rise of Ethereum over time, you would know that um, at one point, Ethereum was a dollar and thirteen cents and had a very low market cap. Granted, uh, IOTA and Cardano have much higher circulating supplies than Ethereum, but the point is, is that you will notice that at some point in time, Ethereum just started to take off. All right. So with that being said, we we're seeing the similarity between Cardano and we're seeing the similarity between IOTA. Okay, so we know Vitalik is behind uh, Ethereum. Now, the one thing that I did think about when I was analyzing this, what if Ethereum was going to take a back seat to some of the, to IOTA and Cardano? Now, I know some of you out there are saying, man, these are totally different uh, to compare the smart contracts developer platforms with IOTA from the Tangle Ledger. And if you're thinking that, I'm going to stop you right there and say, Man, what we're looking at is is innovative technologies here, okay, and opportunities. So if you're one of those people who are trying to already go into that direction, stop. Now, Cardano and Ethereum are very similar, okay, and they're both smart contracts. They both Charles Hoskins, he's from the project of Ethereum before he started Cardano, but there is some differences, and some would say that Cardano is more efficient. And then some would say Cardano doesn't stand a chance. But recently, with the way that this is looking, the market capitalization, you have Cardano, Io, or, uh, Cardano, IOTA, and Ethereum all in the top 10 now, which pretty much puts all you guys who are saying that pretty much on the sidelines, right? <laughs> and, you know, I'm not trying to um, sidebar too much, but I know there's a couple of you guys who are saying that Cardano doesn't stand a chance. And maybe some of you are still saying that. All right, cool, whatever. But um, let's get let's get right into this. So here's what I'm here's what I'm looking at. I'm saying, well, let's just say that IOTA and Cardano will at some point achieve the Ethereum market capitalization. Which one has the most room to grow? So do I think that Ethereum is going to um, regress while Cardano and IOTA? Um, kill it, you know, because they call it the Ethereum killers, right? No, I don't think IOTA is going to die or uh, Ethereum is going to die. I do not. I think Ethereum is going to continue momentum and probably go up above 500 and continue slowly but surely going up like these other cryptocurrencies. There's plenty of tokens built on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there are more and more tokens being built on alternative platforms like Qtum. OK, we have not really seen anything coming out from Cardano. But when that happens, when cryptocurrencies or tokens are built on the Cardano blockchain, what's going to happen to Cardano's price? Well, let's just say that it achieves the market capitalization of Ethereum as it is right now, because we know that this is going to continue to go up, which means that this is going to continue to go up. But we're just saying what would the price look like when Cardano reaches Ethereum market cap? And you will know, all you have to do is basically do the math. And let's just say this price times by 20, you're looking at an almost $2 Cardano, okay? Now, obviously that's not, a, that, that's not exact math, but we're just saying, this, we, don't, we don't need to use this as the exact figure. The point is, is that at some point in time, it's not too far-fetched to believe that Cardano and IOTA won't achieve this same kind of market capitalization. So many of you might be watching this video saying, 
hmm, is it too late to buy Cardano? Cardano just went from two cents all the way up to 10 cents, 12 cents, sometimes even at 13 cents. And you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I was I made videos about Cardano when it was at two cents. A lot of you guys have watched those and you guys who've been following this channel for a while know about that. But I was just as excited about Cardano then as I am now. And I'm saying that I do think based upon numbers here that Cardano can achieve a $2 Cardano coin. So do I think it's too late to invest in Cardano? No. Now this is just one way to look at it. This is not financial advice. You guys are all gonna be, have to be held accountable for your own decisions financially, just like anything, okay? But you're sitting here talking with me, or we're chatting, I'm talking into the computer, right? And you guys are listening to this video, but yeah, I, I don't see why it's too far-fetched to assume that at some point, in the next couple of years, it, it could even be in the next year. We don't know. I don't know exactly how long it will take for it to get to this market capitalization. And I think Ethereum will go up above this market capitalization and push towards 500, of course. So if Cardano reaches the Ethereum level, because we've seen how Ethereum's rise happened. I mean, it doesn't take nuclear rock. It doesn't take nuclear fusion to, to look at this graph to realize that Ethereum wasn't always there. At some point in time, it rose onto the scene, right? And that's what we're saying is going to happen with Cardano and IOTA. So, whereas a lot of you guys would say, well, we're just looking for the next Ethereum. We're looking for the next cryptocurrency that's going to rise up like that. And Cardano appears to be in that boat where it is going to achieve the same kind of market capitalization. It's not going to be a, it's not going to be a $500 Cardano. It's going, to be, it's going to look like a $2 Cardano because of this, the max supply of coins, total supply. Okay, so, and that's just based off of some conservative numbers suggesting that at some point you can expect a $2 Cardano. Now, if we're going to look at IOTA, okay, and they're, we're going to suggest that they're going to have similar market capitalization, all right, so that's, it's about four, it's got, let's do four times, so you could be looking at about a $16 thereabouts, give or take, 15 to $16 iota. At that point, it reaches this market capitalization thereabouts. So yeah, out of these two between Cardano and iota, it, it appears that iota is gonna probably got a higher chance of getting there to this number faster. But I would say long-term iota is gonna stand out because it's a different um, it's a different crypto, it's a different type of cryptocurrency built on the Tangle ledger. Whereas Cardano is a smart, smart contracts blockchain. Ethereum is a smart contracts blockchain. Uh, IOTA is a Tangle ledger, which allows for cheaper fee, uh, faster transaction, uh, times for, um, ma uh, larger, larger scale transaction volumes and also less fees. So they say no fees. Well, we'll see if that maintains, right? We know about how Bitcoin started, right? But um, IOTA, yeah, so you can expect a $15 IOTA. If you watched my video at when I said that when IOTA was at 54 cents and I said, guys, you're going to want to get into this IOTA at 54 cents, um, you know, going from 54 cents to $15 is a pretty nice, is a pretty nice game. Right. And even 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 then, 50, 54 cents to four thirty three. I was happy thinking to myself in that video. I said, if IOTA goes to five dollars, that'll be a nice game. You know, it's easy to expect IOTA to go to or I said, don't be surprised if IOTA goes to five dollars in 2018. Well, it looks like we're getting there a lot faster than I thought. So th this market here has more propulsion than I thought. And every day that this goes by, I start to think that John McAfee and his million dollar Bitcoin uh, notion probably is really possible because this outs this out does most of my uh, possible what I thought was possible by reaching a five dollar um, iota almost here in 2017 even if it pulls back which it could um, because just because they're up right now doesn't mean they're going to continue to go up I mean this cryptocurrency has just been going up over the last seven days. Uh, if it goes back down, you know, if, if we believe that it can achieve this market capitalization, then, you know, you, you can believe that it can get to $15 uh, thereabouts, maybe even $20. And at this price, it's still a good buy to take out a core position, probably. 
And I'm, I'm putting this into light so you guys can look at it from a different perspective because I think most of you could potentially, it appears that most of you are trying to understand, well, how can I gauge this? What do I have to go off that can gauge the um, pricing here? And where can I, where can I, where can we realistically see a Cardano uh, price? Where can we realistically see um, IOTA? And I think these are even very conservative price reviews. Now, the thing that IOTA has that, that um, Cardano does not yet have is major companies have already signed with IOTA, Microsoft, Fujitsu, and there's a couple others that have already signed up with IOTA. And you can do a Google search to see who all those companies are and are considering it. IOTA, Internet of Things, all right, the Tangle Ledger. And yeah, I mean, I have, I have, I do believe that it can, in the next year, probably will catch this market cap. And if you, if you just do the math here, you know, four times, you know, it puts it around $16 thereabouts. And Cardano, if it, if it catches up to this market cap, probably around about $2. Now, this is, I don't have a calculator out here. I'm just going off the top. But if you guys wanted to really calculate that, what you would do is you would take the circulating supply into that number right there. So you would take this circulating supply, realizing that it's subject to change over time, but you would take it into, you know, $44 billion, and that would give you the price. And I don't want to pull up a calculator and have to go through all that math because that's a lot of numbers to, to put into a calculator right now. And there's Cardano, you would do the same thing. You would take this circulating supply into 44 billion thereabouts, or 43.5 billion if you like, and it would give you what the Cardano anticipated price is. Now, the thing about Ethereum. So if you're looking at buying, hmm, should I buy Ethereum? Should I buy Cardano? Should I buy IOTA right now? I'm going to say that IOTA and Cardano are better investments for you right now because there's more upside to grow and more potential opportunity. Now, Ethereum is a safe play. It's kind of like, it's nowhere near as boring to own as Ripple, but the time to get into Ethereum, really for the major bull run and the big gains, was back in, um, probably back last year, or this year, earlier this year. So you would have wanted to get into Ethereum around about February 2017, March 2017. And, and we're at that kind of level with IOTA and Cardano right now. And obviously Cardano's got more room to grow into this market cap than IOTA, but it appears that IOTA has got so much momentum and it's just gonna to continue to carry. Um, this isn't financial advice. I'm not saying pick up a, a, a massive position at 433 or 11 cents. In fact, I already have my core position on IOTA. And I'm not, I'm not buying, I don't plan to buy anymore because I already bought it at 54 cents and I'm, I'm going to ride that. If anything, I might sell it. I actually, uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I did sell my Cardano and I would have to buy back in at a, at a, at a price when I feel, uh, because once it went up to 13 cents, I was like, I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to sell this and take some profit because I'm not married to Cardano. Um, and I wanted some profit to get into some of these other cryptocurrencies that I like, but Bitcoin being one of them. <laughs> I, I, I think that I think while we're on this, everyone should be striving to figure out a way to get to at least one Bitcoin. So I know you guys like all these altcoins, but some of your some of you guys got to be saying, how do I get one Bitcoin? How do I get one Bitcoin out of this? Obviously, hold your altcoin positions and utilize your altcoin positions to get you to Bitcoin, but that's kind of the that's kind of where we're at right now. Use these altcoins, some of these altcoins to help you leverage into Bitcoin. So taking profit on a on a Cardano from two cents to thirteen cents in the short term, I think is a good thing. That's what a, a five. It's a six times gain for me. So I was happy about that. Okay, I actually got a I got a five times gain on it because I don't think I was quite sold it at thirteen. But um, the point is is that. Don't be scared to take profit, guys. I mean, right now, uh, yeah, I'm I'm at well more, way more than five five times gain on IOTA, but I'm too I'm too bullish on IOTA right now because they just appear to appear out of between Ethereum, IOTA, 
and Cardano. The most upside is with Cardano, but the most potential, realistic potential upside is going to be here with IOTA. It's in a league of its own here, guys, and it's already moved up into the top five. It's already passed Ripple. Um, IOTA is, man, this... This gives you an idea. Also, something to think about while we're going on to, into this video here. How many cryptocurrencies are going to fall into this range now? Now that this, now that the, now that the presidents have has been set that many of these cryptocurrencies are, you know, over ten ten billion dollars. How many more are going to fall into that range, and where are they at? That's what we want to know. So where is where is the next? IOTA, where is the next Cardano in terms of price action? Okay, the tech is different. So which one of these cryptocurrencies do you think can get a $10 billion market cap? And I'm gonna say this right now, 10X. 10X has that kind of, that kind of positioning. And the reason I say it has that is because it's got one thing that's really important. Julian Haas. Okay, so anyways, guys, that's the pitch man. That's the person who goes out there and makes the contacts, gets in there with the big money, the Microsofts and the Fujitsus, and, and takes the time to, to go to the symposiums and the conferences to make the, to make the contact with the big money. Anyways, guys, this is Jeff with Allcoin Buzz. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you've already watched these videos and you're subscribed, click that bell if you like videos like this. Follow us on Twitter, altcoinbuzz.io. All right, and we're also on, um, we're also on InvestFeed, altcoinbuzz. You don't have to type in the IO there. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.